Hi, welcome to the Mohua Show. My name is Mohua Chinappa and I am an author, entrepreneur and ex-housewife. This podcast is about everything from business to technology to arts to lifestyle but done and spoken imandari se. Hi, in today's episode we have with us Vidhan Bhaiya. Vidhan is a young driven individual who has already made a name for himself in the world of business and entrepreneurship. A recent chemical engineering graduate from the Northeastern University Boston with a summa cum laude honor and a university scholar, Vidhan is the CEO of Dr. Brinsley, a startup focused on making performance footwear for diabetes patients. He also serves as the director for supply chain at CNE Limited, a specialty chemicals manufacturing company with a background in investing from his time as an investing associate at Pillar VC a 30 million dollar seed stage VC fund it's no wonder that Vidhan has been recognized for his achievements including being named in Boston Business Journal's 25 under 25 being a Curie scholar Huntington 100 and a global impact winner oh my god that's a lot uh, so stay tuned as we delve into the mind and the world of Vidhan bhaiya so sabse pehla sawal jo mera hai vidhan आपके साथ टेल मी द इंस्पिरेशन बिहाइंड स्टार्टिंग डॉक्टर ब्रिंसले और आपका मिशन क्या था इस कंपनी को लेके बिकॉज डायबिटीज इतना बुरी तरीके से फैला हुआ है इंडिया में एक तो लाइफस्टाइल रिलेटेड है दूसरा है जेनेटिक पर लाइफस्टाइल रिलेटेड बहुत सारे लोग सफर करते हैं इस डिजीज के साथ तो क्या मिशन क्या रहा इसका I was uh, I was studying in the US and um, I had come back to India for the first winter break and I was gone to a wedding where I saw my uh, favorite uncle who's known as the style icon of the family and he was wearing his trademark you know fancy suit but uh, very bulky shoes and he looked uh, somewhat timid and uncomfortable uh you know he didn't want to get up from his table and he went right at the back during the family photograph so i'm just like uh, what's what's going on and uh, later i when i asked around i found out that he was recently diagnosed with diabetic neuropathy and he hadn't been the same ever since so then i'm just like diabetes neuropathy footwear what what are all these things how are they related and then i began to do some research and i found out that diabetes is a sugar related condition but it causes challenges in the feet this is primarily because there is sugar build up in the nerves which are at the ends of your body that is your hands and your feet and due to the sugar build up your ha- feet start to lose sensation which is a medical term called peripheral neuropathy and because of this lack of sensation to mitigate any challenges associated with this condition people are asked to wear special kinds of footwear how does a diabetic footwear differ from traditional footwear options in the market and a little bit about dr brinsley because there is a huge gap i mean we just spoke and i was just telling you that my father had to get customized shoes which is very expensive and you know being uh, from a middle class family he just was trying very hard to use that as long as he can so how does uh, you know your company bridge this gap specifically what diabetic footwear does is that it addresses these the challenges with peripheral neuropathy and after speaking to over 2000 stakeholders involved in the space which include diabetologists podiatrists patients and leading members of academia we identified four fundamental design goals ki what does diabetic footwear do because there wasn't something which we could refer to ki diabetic footwear means these 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 things we had to sort of discover that and the four fundamental design goals for diabetic footwear were to evenly distribute plantar pressure that is when you are standing your pressure is put across your entire the sole of your foot b to prevent any uh, external shock that is you know hitting uh, your foot to the side of a table hitting your foot to the side of a door things like that three to prevent shear and friction uh anything you know any shoe bites things like that all these things that are no no and four to accommodate some of the bone deformities that are caused due to diabetes now the these four are important at the other fundamental goals because what we are essentially trying to do is to create a a protective shell for your foot 
whilst also you know not looking very bulky and looking like something that people want to wear because of this lack of sensation you know i remember once i had a during one of my market research i showed some existing footwear option that people looks like you know with an i'd rather lose my foot than wear it just like what 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 are you saying this like process that and that person later had a toe amputated because you know they just like didn't want to wear these footwear then i remember once uh, somebody told me you know i was walking in my house and then um, i saw blood on the floor i didn't know where it was coming from they later turned their foot around and saw that there was a nail that had pricked into their foot and they didn't even realize that this had happened so that's how bad the lack of sensation can get as a result of this lack of sensation any small cuts bruises or wounds that one might face are turned into uh, can often turn into ulcers which can can't be healed by the foot and therefore uh, lead to amputations and so that is the risk that we are trying to mitigate through our foot can you talk about the impact that dr brinsley's footwear has had on the diabetes community i mean how many people have come back to you and told you about how it's made a difference to their lives because many people we know in india may not be able to afford this sort of footwear yeah yeah so we um we taken on a path to bring this footwear affordably to patients and this happens uh, through our strategy of primarily focusing on getting these to consumers directly and also to work on any inbound inquiries that come in this helps us avoid all sorts of there's a lot in the medical industry there's a lot of costs in the in the middle and we have worked on eliminating all these costs to get our products to patients the fastest and cheapest there are design challenges which makes our components our materials very expensive and um, that's what we tried to sort of uh pass on the benefits by removing everybody in the middle so even if we sacrifice sometimes on scale i think it's important that we get to the customers that are price that they can afford uh, with regards to sort of impact i think you know, what will happen is that we we've, we've seen a tremendous rate of returning customers uh our today our primary like today we don't do any external marketing all of our marketing is either inbound or organic or word of mouth and i think that is a testament to two things one is the need for such footwear therefore people are talking about it and b the other kind of people are people who have heard about us from their friends and family and how it has sort of helped them you know walk comfortably uh, how it has helped them you know wear footwear that look just like normal footwear because they're just like Uh, you know, uh, like uh, Vidhan, I wore this footwear, and today nobody asked me if I was diabetic. Because otherwise, existing diabetic options from like I can look at it, people can look at it from very far away, and they'll know this is diabetic footwear. This person suffers from diabetes. Today, diabetes is not a it's not a it's not a disease anymore. It's a it's a lifestyle problem. It's a, just a you know something that people have. And so we don't believe people should be stigmatized because of their diabetes and our footwear. helps them to do that so it's really really interesting you know the way the world of medicine and aesthetics and all of that are combined together in your brand you know maybe hamare sunne walon ke liye aap thoda sa aapke partnerships or distribution in hospitals and clinics uske bare thoda sa if you can just share a little information on that number of leading hospitals have approved our footwear for our designs um this these uh, have been uh, tested at uh, using plantar pressure analysis at a large leather research body which proved the claims of peak post reduction and plantar force uh, removal and distribution across the entire foot and then when we took it to doctor people were very happy to work with us because they saw the need for a high quality solution which is durable and uh, the reason some of the we are you know selling on all e-commerce platforms for make med 1mg uh, seniority um, the apollo sugar website uh, amazon flipkart and so on so that has been sort of a testament to our quality and that that the customers have been liking the products that we put together and uh, yeah we hope to but we have noticed that the largest number of customers are coming in through our website itself and uh, you know today we hope to become like the one brand where people when they think about diabetes and diabetic footwear they think about us in india 
any plans for expanding the reach of Dr. Brinsley's products both domestically and internationally? Yeah, so we we are currently adding some new models to our range. Uh, where the way where we want to exist is that we want to offer high quality options to patients, and uh, where also functionality is. Uh, functionality is kept at its core and uh, to do that we're constantly doing research in kinds of preventive footwear today now on the other hand some other research that we're doing right now is with regards to a uh, customized solution which is the next step once people start to have complications associated with diabetic footwear they they cannot and should not wear uh, off the shelf footwear and if there's something that you should take away from this podcast at least from a medical standpoint like if somebody has lost a foot or is facing a lot of foot challenges of the shelf footwear is not for you please please do invest in customized footwear so that you are able to prevent further challenges that have been caused by this and so we are now working on figuring out a scalable solution to bring customized footwear to people because today customized footwear as you had mentioned earlier is very very expensive you know 5 6 8 thousand rupees for shoes and sandals is not something that everybody can afford and so we are working on a couple of different options where we use some sort of augmented reality scanning of the foot where we use some forms of 3d printing to print your insole so we are experimenting with these technologies which focus on quick data capture which help build out a customized shoe and also rapid prototyping and manufacturing without the need for legacy manufacturing techniques so we are working on these things and once we are able to prove our designs once we are able to medically verify our claims we plan to bring these to market very quickly aaj ke zamane mein koi bhi naya business start karna ho to technology becomes a very huge part of the entire process so can you just discuss the role of technology in manufacturing and the design process of dr brinsley's footwear the way we began our we have two parts to the this question one part of it is with regards to the design itself and we we here we followed something called the stanford design thinking process where uh, this is a this is a way of product design which is focused on on the consumer and how we can um design products that are uniquely suited to the customer's needs and so there are five phases to this first part of it is to empathize and in this phase we i spent a lot of time talking to all the key stakeholders diabetologists podiatrists patients what understand what do all these people want from this footwear then we put that together to go to the second phase which is to define so what does this mean what do the four fundamental goal design goals mean then for the third phase i had to ideate okay now we know what we are trying to do with this footwear how do we build models that uh, and choose materials that are able to address these design goals and so for that i spent 3 weeks in chivitanova market in italy where i spoke to everybody i could about footwear design footwear components footwear materials to understand you know what are the latest in shoe technology that i could use to address this goal and for the last for fourth phase i was in india where i was rapidly prototyping with our models constantly testing it with customers patients to understand whether what we are doing is in the right track and uh, so we so we did that and the last phase involves testing where i was once we made our footwear we tell, gave it to patients understood look uh, does this work for you is it are you finding it like so this ensured that our design process was constantly directly focused to the customers itself with regards to the technology front look uh, i think we have, we've been trying to build a couple of new product which not just mitigate the condition associated with di- uh, diabetes but also sort of try to see if we can bring in a therapeutic element to what we're doing so not just prevent the risks but can we start healing this and so for that we've been trying to implant sensors into our footwear we've been trying to implant some forms of electronic inserts into the insoles that help reverse this condition of peripheral neuropathy so we built out two of these products um over the last 3 years when i was in university in boston and are currently testing our designs because these are very large sort of claims that we are making which would be the you know the first in the world to be doing these things and so i can't mention further due to uh, patent protection um regulations but um, essentially we're trying to build in wearables into our footwear as we believe that is the next 
step to where we want to go. This is outstanding, uh, Vidhan, considering the number of people who have diabetes, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, you know, they've just recently released the 2022 National Diabetes Statistic Report. It's alarming. The report estimates that more than 130 million adults, you know, um, this is in the US and in, in India itself also. I mean, every second person that we meet is, um, you know, have got some Somebody who's got diabetes, you know, in their family or somebody that they've lost to a kidney failure. For me, I lost my father to kidney failure because of diabetes and how, you know, the entire disease affected him. There's uh, awareness that's required and we need companies like you to take things forward because nobody wants to look fuddy-duddy with the kind of footwear that uh, was available. And I don't think footwear was even discussed in the earlier days, you know, for mm-hmm. diabetes. They just did the amputation, you know, and it was taken for granted. So, you know, just for our listeners, I just want to reiterate that diabetes shoes decreases the risk of diabetic foot ulcers and reduces the risk of amputations. Properly fitted diabetic shoes offer support and protection that minimizes the impact on high pressure areas of the foot. So wishing Dr. Brinsley's footwear a great success in a burgeoning new India that will soon learn to deal with many life altering diseases as part and parcel of their everyday life. And I do hope just like the way diabetes foot Footwear is available soon. Many other diseases, you know, will also be looked at it in a holistic fashion and people will not feel ashamed. And uh, thank you so much for being in today's episode and wishing Dr. Brinsley a fantastic future. We need more innovators like you in our country. Thank you for being on today's podcast. Thank you very much for having me, Moha. To you, our dearest listeners, you can find us on your favorite streaming services, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcast, and of course, on all other major streaming services. With loads of love, we are The Mohua Show, where we talk imandari se.